Welcome to 10 Daily Medical Questions. In this tutorial, we are taking a detailed look at the abdominal aortic aneurysm or AAA. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is defined as a permanent localized dilation of the abdominal aorta with an outer aortic diameter equal to or greater than 3 cm. There are two main morphological types. Fusiform aneurysms, which are symmetrical and spindle-shaped, and circular aneurysms, which are symmetrical, more pouch-like outpouchings. Importantly, about 95% of all AAAs are located infrarenally, that is, below the renal arteries. Risk factors for developing a AAA include age over 65, male sex, and a positive family history. Atherosclerotic risk factors also play a significant role. They include smoking, hypertension, and hypercholesterolemia. In fact, smoking is considered the most important modifiable risk factor. Other contributable factors include coronary artery disease and conditions like Marfan syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos, which affect connective tissue integrity. Clinically, most AAAs remain asymptomatic and are often discovered incidentally on imaging done for other reasons. However, if symptoms do occur, they may present as vague or deep, chronic abdominal or back pain. On physical examination, a pulsatile abdominal mass may be palpable. The most dangerous presentation is rupture, which classically presents with sudden severe abdominal or back pain, hypotension and signs of shock. Rupture is a life-threatening emergency. The risk of rupture increases significantly with aneurysm size and this can be explained by Laplace's law. Wall tension increases proportionally with both pressure and radius. So, as the aneurysm grows, the wall becomes increasingly unstable. Other complications can include thrombus formation with distal embolization, compression of surrounding structures, and rarely formation of an iotoenteric fistula. Diagnostic evaluation typically begins with an abdominal ultrasound, which is highly sensitive and non-invasive making it ideal for both screening and follow-up. For detailed assessment and surgical planning, CT angiography is gold standard. Magnetic resonance angiography can be used, especially in patients with renal impairment or iodine contrast allergies. Management depends primarily on aneurysm size and symptomatology. For small aneurysms generally under 5.5 cm in men and under 5 cm in women, conservative management is appropriate. This includes strict control of cardiovascular risk factors, no smoking, optimized blood pressure with beta blockers, statin therapy and lifestyle modifications. In patients with connective tissue disorder like Marfan syndrome, angiotensin receptor blockers such as losartan have been shown to reduce aneurysm progression. Interestingly, recent studies suggest that the use of fluoroquinolones, a class of antibiotics including ciprofloxacin, may double the risk of aortic aneurysm and dissection, likely due to their effects on connective tissue remodeling. They should be used cautiously in at-risk individuals. Surgical repair is indicated when the aneurysm reaches 5.5 cm in men, 5 cm in women, shows rapid growth of more than 1 cm per year or becomes symptomatic. Surgical options include open aortic repair using a tube graft or Y-shaped prosthesis of an iota by iliacal or endovascular aneurysm repair also known as AVAR. Open surgical repair is more invasive and carries risks such as infection, spinal cord ischemia with potential paraplegia and colonic ischemia. 
a war being less invasive is increasingly preferred when anatomy allows however it comes with its own sets of complications such as tend dislocation endoleaks thrombosis embolism and delayed rupture maintaining proper distance from the renal arteries is a crucial in avar planning prognosis after rupture is grim mortality ranges from 40 percentage to 80 percentage even with emergency interventions among those who survive the rupture many succumb post operatively to complications such as myocardial infarction or stroke often due to coexisting coronary artery disease or carotid stenosis even elective surgery carries a perioperative risk that must be balanced carefully against rupture risk screening is a key element of prevention one time screening with abdominal ultrasound is recommended for men over 65 years of age for women over 65 who have smoked and for any adults with a family history of abdominal aortic aneurysm early detection allows for monitoring and timely intervention before rupture occurs in summary aaa is a silent but potentially lethal vascular disease it demands a high index of suspicion especially in older male patients with cardiovascular risk factors understanding the pathophysiology recognizing when to image and knowing when to refer for surgery can save lives and as always prevention through lifestyle modification and risk factor management remains the cornerstone of long term care if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more concise and clinically relevant tutorials thank you for watching 10 daily medical questions